structures. Okay. So basically, what is the relation of this game, this tree, to our game? It's simply that the value of a subtree now is 1 if the other one wins and 0 if I win. <coughs> uh, no, it's the opposite. I win if the value of a tree is 1 if I can win and 0 if I will lose. Okay. Yes, but at every level. I mean, I is the player that plays at that, at that uh, level. So, what, what is the, the, um, the truth table for NAND? The truth table for NAND is simply, if both of them are zero, then the AND is zero and the NAND is one. If one of them is zero, then the AND is zero and the NAND is one. If both of them are one, the AND is one and the NAND is zero. Okay? So basically, a NAND is equal to 1 if and only if <coughs> there exists a 0. Okay, that's how you define 1. Okay? So basically, the NAND gate, the value will be 1 if there is a way to force the adversary to lose. Okay? At every level. Okay? So instead of basically... Here, it's always player one, it's one if player one wins. Now, it's player i modulo two wins, it's one. Where i is the level of the tree. Okay, you, do you follow me? Okay, so now, now we are with uh, the same tree. So, uh, the perturbing uh, result, yeah, I don't, I, uh, with a uh, purple short, I, I, don't, I don't know your name. What I mean is that for these non-trees, the algorithm we have is optimal. Uh, I know that it's optimal. So maybe there is a difference between trees of even depth and odd depth. I don't know. I don't know. But I know that the, the other value is optimal for this tree. So it's... Uh, Well, I think it's both, but uh, I'm not sure. But it's good to, if you can check, it's good. I think it's a good exercise. I, I, I'm totally convinced uh, that our algorithm yeah. is optimal. I'm just, I'm just saying that maybe the bound we used was not tight. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's, what, that's not what they claim in the book, but uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> maybe there's something I did not get. That's, uh, so I would be happy if you, if you, if you do your analysis uh, up to, to the end. That, that could be your report for... Uh, for the midterm exam. Okay, so uh, so good. Now, so we have an ON tree. So every nodes are the same. Okay, so basically we want a simple analysis of any uh, deterministic algorithm. So in order to make it simple, we will try to have to have it uh, a distribution of the value of the leaves <coughs> that are uh, independent of the level. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So first, a distribution. So we are looking for a distribution Q over the instances. Okay, we are looking for that, such that the expected number of leaves uh, inspected Uh, number, the expected number of leaves inspected, well, it's almost the same, uh, by the best deterministic algorithm for this distribution is uh, something. And this something, this will be our lower bound <coughs> lower bound on the cost of any randomized algorithm. Okay? Good. Is it clear with you what the, the goal is? But a distribution over the instance is simply a distribution over the value of the leaves. Okay? 
So I will just choose one, and this will give you a, a one lower bound, which will not be optimal, okay, but which will be still something, okay. So uh, what do I want? I want something which is I don't want to, to get to, to get involved into complicated analysis because I'm lazy. And uh, so what do I want to do is just to pick up, I will just set the value of each leaf to independently <coughs> to one with probability p and zero with probability 1 minus p, okay? For some p, okay? <coughs> so here, uh, let's say q, because uh, else, uh, well, no, p is bad, q is bad. Uh, let's say uh, phi, okay? 1 minus phi, okay? So th this is our distribution q, okay? With where I am. And what do I want is that the distribution gets re remains the same from one level to another, so that uh, the induction will be easy. So what do I mean by that? I want, so here everybody is one with probability phi, phi and uh, zero with probability one minus phi, okay? And I want the same for here, for the value of any subtree. Okay, I want the same. So clearly the two subtrees are independent. Okay, because they depend on uh, different leaves. Okay, so the independence is okay. So now the only thing I need is that the root of the tree here is one with probability phi and zero with probability one minus phi at any level. Okay, so I just need to do it for with one NAND gate. Okay, I j what I want is that to choose phi such that if I have in both leaves here, 1 with priority phi, 0 with priority 1 minus phi, 1 with priority phi, 0 with priority 1 minus phi. Here, I have the value of the NAND is 1 with priority phi and 0 with priority 1 minus phi. Okay? You, you get the goal? So how do I choose? How do I choose the value phi? So what is the probability? that the NAND gate is 1. So as I said before, NAND is equal to 1 if and only if there exists a 0. Okay? <coughs> so the probability that the NAND is 0 is the probability that both are 1. Okay, it's phi square. Okay? And I want that to be 1 minus phi. 1 minus phi. Okay? So what does this mean? This means that phi square plus phi is equal to 1, which is simply that phi is related to the golden ratio. This is phi minus plus 1 half is equal to 4, uh, 5 over 4. 5 over 4, which means that uh, phi is equal to square root of 5 minus, uh, minus what? Minus 1 over 2. Okay? Uh, uh, by the way, uh, it's uh, minus, it's plus or minus here, but we want phi to be... Uh, in 0 and 1. So this means that um, it's uh, plus and not minus. Okay? We want phi to be a probability. So we need it to be uh, between 0 and 1. Okay? So we take phi equals to this value and we have this distribution. Okay? So we get the value. We get Q phi. Okay? And this is our distribution of instance. So now we need to get now what we need. Now, we need a lower bound on the cost of any deterministic algorithm 
for distribution q phi. Okay, I want a lower bound on the cost of any distribution <coughs> of uh, the cost of any deterministic algorithm. <coughs> okay, any deterministic algorithm. So the good thing is that in this instance, there is nothing a good uh, deterministic algorithm can do. Okay, it looks the same all the time, always. Okay, anywhere in the tree, you have the same thing. Okay, so basically, the deterministic algorithm doesn't have any choice. Okay, it's the same everywhere. Okay, so it does not have any choice, but it doesn't mean that it's easy to analyze. Okay, so the thing that we will use and that I will not speak about is a lemma that tells you the following due to Tarsi in uh, I don't know when, 80s. 70s, I don't know. I think it's in the 70s, but it says the following that if the non tree is balanced, so what does balance mean is that all the leaves are at the same, same distance from the root, and at a given level, all, all nodes are the same degree. Okay, so this is our case. Okay, so this is a, a special case equals uh, binary tree <coughs> binary tree uh, of uh, so let's let's give the definition okay so balance is all leaves at the same level all nodes at a given level at the same degree Clearly, this is our case. Okay? If the non tree is balanced and all leaves have value 1 with probability p and 0 with probability 1 minus p independently. There exists an optimal deterministic algorithm. Ah, well, uh, the depth first search <coughs> algorithm is optimal. Okay, among the deterministic algorithm. So the proof is pretty tedious and uh, because uh, basically you do it by recurrence and you need to, well, it's not that complicated, but uh, you need to be careful. So basically what you show is that you, the different search algorithm is, is optimal for a uh, tree of, of size k and then you, you show that it's true for tree of <laughs> depth uh, k plus one. Well, you're not allowed to do this, for instance. This is not allowed. Why this is not allowed? Because typically, so uh, remember it's a NAND. So it's one if there exists a zero. So basically, imagine that there is a zero here. Imagine that, and then you get a zero there. <coughs> uh, no, yeah, um, well, no, you get a one here. You get a one here, and you will need to evaluate this guy in order to evaluate this tree. But in that case, it's not good to evaluate this tree because it will take you longer. The best thing is to skip to the other subtree here and hope that there is a one here, which will arrive with good probabilities. Okay? So for a tree which is unbalanced, then it's not true that the defer search algorithm are the best. Okay, you, you may, if you have this kind of configuration, you will skip from this tree to this one. Okay, I don't want to enter into the detail because it's already very late. Okay, but I just, I just want to let you know that the balance hypothesis is very important. Okay, clearly here, if the tree is balanced, everything is mixed up. Okay, there is no, no, no good strategy. Okay, everything, all the values are chosen randomly. <coughs> okay, so 
everything looks the same, more or less. Okay, everything at the same level looks the same. So there is no choice which are better than another deterministically. Okay. So, so what what does this mean? This means that in our case, we just need to look at this, the depth first search algorithm and analyze this one for for our uh, our distribution. Okay, and what's the cost of uh, the um, depth first search algorithm for our distribution? It's the following. So, the NAND gate. When when do we need to evaluate only one subtree of a NAND gate? <coughs> when one, at least one is zero. <coughs> Okay, when at least one is zero. Uh, yes. Okay, so when at least one is zero, we just need to evaluate just one subtree. When, okay, so let's, let's do all the cases. So, Yeah, so we want to evaluate the expected cost, the expected number of leaves inspected by our algorithm. Okay, so the expected number of leaves by the depth first search algorithm, given that the two subtrees are value 0, 0, given that the two subtrees are value 0, 0, what is the cost? The cost is. Uh, so if there is a zero, then I have just to inspect one. Okay. So in that case, it's the expected cost of TFS uh, DFS over k minus one, uh, given that the value is zero. The book is completely wrong. That's terrible. Okay. I mean, well, well. okay, because we, we need a lower bound now. We don't need a, an upper bound. Okay, we, we need to be careful. We want a lower bound on the cost of a deterministic algorithm. Okay? So, <coughs> so yes, given that the value is zero. Oh, yeah, we, we need to be very extra careful. Extra careful here. So how do, how do I get a lower bound on this? Hmm. So what do I want is the expected cost of DFS with a tree of size k. Okay? So this is the probability that the value of the tree is zero times the expected value uh, of DFSK given that the value is zero plus the probability that the value of the tree is one times the expected cost of DFSK given that the value is one. Okay, so we know by construction that this is one minus phi, and this is phi. Okay, so now we need to evaluate these two things. This, uh, these two expectations. So the expectation of DFS <coughs> k given that value is zero. So the value if zero is only if the value of the two sub three is one. Okay, and in that case, we need to evaluate both. Okay, so it's equal to 2 times the expected cost of DFS k given that the value is 1. Okay, and uh, k minus 1. And the expected value of DFS k minus 1 given 
but the value is 1, 